GoPro GoPro is an American brand of high-definition personal cameras, often used in extreme action video photography. They are known for being lightweight, rugged, wearable or mountable in unusual places such as outside planes, cars, boats or army tanks. The company that develops, manufactures and markets the cameras and equipment is privately owned Woodman Labs based in San Mateo, California. History The company was formed by Nick Woodman. Woodman said he was inspired to start the company following a 2002 Australia surfing trip in which he was hoping to capture quality action photos of his surfing, but could not because amateur photographers could not get close enough, or obtain quality equipment at accessible prices. His desire for a camera system that could capture the professional angles inspired the GoPro name. The parent company includes financing by several venture capital companies including Steamboat Ventures, affiliated with the Walt Disney Corporation, Riverwood Capital, Sega View Capital, Walden International, and U.S. Venture Partners. Woodman initially raised money for his company by selling bead and shell belts out of his VW van. Each belt sold for under 20 U.S. dollars. While making the belts, he came upon the idea of providing a fashionable strap to attach a camera. At the time most straps were rubber wrist straps that some reviewers found to be awkward, painful, or easily broken. In 2004, the company sold its first camera system, a 35mm film version. The cameras evolved, going from 35mm to digital, where it started recording 10-second clips, to 3 megapixel digital cameras to its current configuration of fixed-lens HD video cameras with a 170-degree angle. Two cameras can now be paired together to create 3D video. The cameras have branched out from the surf crowd to be used for auto racing, skiing, and bicycling as new adapters are created. Corporate Actions On March 30, 2011, GoPro acquired SceneForm. In particular, the acquisition brought the scene form 444 codec into its control. The codec, which was used in the film Slumdog Millionaire, according to the press release makes HD and 3D editing faster and more convenient without sacrificing image quality. It was used to roll out the 3D Hero R, system shortly after the acquisition. In March 2013, GoPro issued a DMCA takedown notice to a site, DigitalRev.com, that had posted a review of its product, citing trademark use as a breach of copyright. This notice was retracted 10 days later citing erroneous enforcement. HD Hero Cameras GoPro sells three fixed-lens cameras, all without viewfinders. A 2-bit LCD on the front of the camera allows access to its menu system, which is controlled with the front and top shutter buttons. The cameras have dimensions of 1.6 inches x 2.4 x 1.2, 42mm x 60mm x 30mm, HERO2. The range for capturing still images is 5 to 12 megapixels. The cameras are bundled with a clear polycarbonate HD housing, with glass lens, that is rated shockproof and waterproof to 180 feet per 60 meters. The housing consists of a quick-release buckle on the top and threads at the bottom which can be used with a special screw to connect to all of the GoPro mounts. The housing has metal buttons which are synced to connect to the camera's controls. The housing has a skeleton backdoor option to allow better capture of audio in situations where it is not necessary for the camera to be watertight or shockproof, but wishing to take advantage of the mounts. In addition to the usual camera features, the cameras also include an upside-down mode to make the photo video appear upright when played. Interval shooting of every 2, 5, 10, 30 or 60 seconds allowing the camera to continuously shoot unattended. 3 photo burst. And self-timer. The camera spec sheet notes they have a proprietary 1050 mR lithium-ion battery, HERO3, aperture, f 2.8 and rated greater than 1.4 volts per lux second video mode. Products HERO3 Plus
In October 2013, GoPro released the HERO3 Plus, available in Black Edition and Silver Edition, which replaced their respective Hero 3 generation predecessors. The Hero 3 White Edition still remained as the actual model in the low-end GoPro's device segment. Both Hero 3 Plus camera models have dramatically improved low-light performance, and a new waterproof enclosure which is lighter and smaller than the HERO3, 20% and 15% respectively, according to the GoPro website. The Hero 3 Plus camera itself is a 20% decrease in size compared to the Hero 3, and are also claimed to have improvements in image sharpness, close focus down to 7, versus about 3 feet on the Hero 3, at the expense of distant focus which is slightly less sharp with Hero 3 Plus, and better audio functionality to include wind. Noise rejection. Battery runtime improvement is claimed to be 30% compared to the respective Hero 3 model both through better efficiency and a higher capacity battery in the same size. The Black Edition has video modes of 1440p48, 1080p60, 960p100 and 720p120 as well as 4kp15 and 2.7kp30 and can shoot 12mp stills at up to 30 frames per second. Along with the increased resolution, the HERO3 Plus Black Edition also features a function in firmware called SuperView which additionally increases the field of view, and its activation is optional. It has additional enterprise functions, such as dynamic low-light situation adjustment, professional recording modes, higher bit rates, no white balance applied, etc. etc. The Black Edition continues to include a Wi-Fi remote. The Black Edition does not have the ability to record 25-30 FPS in 720p and WVGA modes, it can only record at very fast frame rates in those lower resolutions. This is a deliberate firmware limitation, as the manufacturer does not expect this high-end product to be used for recording in such low resolutions with so low frame rates. The battery runtime of Hero 3 Plus Black Edition although significantly longer than Hero 3 Black Edition, is still around 30 to 50 percent lower than the battery runtime of Hero 2 and Hero 1, which are two and three generations older, respectively. The Silver Edition has video modes of 1080p60 and 720p120 and can shoot 10mp stills at up to 10 frames per second. In contrast to the Black Edition, the Silver Edition can record at 25-30 fps, or higher, in all supported resolutions. Hero 3 Plus Silver Edition also has about 25%-50% longer battery runtime during recording than Hero 3 Plus Black Edition, they both use the same batteries. The difference in runtime depends on the resolution FPS combination, and whether Wi-Fi and GoPro mobile application are used during recording. The difference in runtime increases as the FPS is lowered and the additional functions are deactivated on both cameras. The battery runtime of Hero 3 Plus Silver Edition is similar to the battery runtime of Hero 2 and Hero 1. HERO 3 In late 2012, GoPro announced the Hero 3 line of cameras. These new cameras came in three editions, black, silver, and white. All three versions of the Hero 3 come in a new 30% smaller and 25% lighter package, with Wi-Fi functionality built in. The change of the physical dimensions of the cameras compared to the previous generations, Hero 1 and Hero 2 were physically identical, implicates that some of the camera accessories for Hero 1 and Hero 2 are not compatible with Hero 3, so GoPro made new versions of those accessories specifically for Hero 3 and mostly for Hero 3 Plus, see above. Those new versions of accessories are usually not compatible with older Hero camera generations. However, a lot of other accessories are compatible with all HD Hero camera generations. One notable disadvantage of Hero 3 Silver and Black cameras, compared to Hero 1 and Hero 2 cameras, is significantly shorter battery run times. For example, in 720p resolution with 25-30 fps, while Hero 1 and Hero 2 have a stated battery runtime of 3 hours, Hero 3 Silver Edition has a stated battery runtime of 2 hours, 
while Hero 3 Black Edition has a stated battery runtime of only 1.5 hours. The Black Edition's most economical setting is 1080p 30fps, so this also partially contributes to its poor battery runtime. The Black Edition features a new 12MP sensor that is capable of capturing 4K digital video at 15fps, 2.7K video at 30fps, 1440p at 48fps, 1080p at 60fps, 960p at 100fps. 720p at 120fps and WVGA at 240fps. The Black Edition also includes the Wi-Fi remote. The Black Edition cannot record at 25-30fps in 720p and WVGA resolutions. It can record only at very fast frame rates in those resolutions. This is a deliberate firmware limitation as the manufacturer does not expect that this high-end camera model will be used in such low resolutions with so low frame rates. The Silver Edition uses the same 11MP sensor as the Hero 2. The White Edition uses the same 5MP sensor as the HD Hero 1. HDHERO 2 The HDHERO 2 was launched on October 24, 2011. It has an 11MP image sensor, improved low-light capability and records at up to 120 frames per second. It was sold with three different accessory packages, Outdoor Edition, Motorsports Edition, and Surf Edition. HD Hero The HD Hero Naked, released with a range of accessories, shoots a maximum of 1080p video on its 5MP sensor. The naked camera line forms the basis for other bundles which are differentiated by the types of mounts they have, HD Helmet Hero, HD Motorsports Hero, HD Surf Hero. It was first listed on January 25, 2010. Specifications Sensor size, 1 slash 2.5 inch dash 5.75 x 4.28 mm, pixel size, 2.2 mm. Image format. HD Hero 960. HD Hero 960 shoots a maximum of 960p video and is not compatible with GoPro's electronic accessories, although the camera is compatible with all GoPro mounts. It was first listed on August 6, 2010. Digital Hero 5. The Digital Hero 5. First introduced on December 5, 2008, had a 5 megapixel still photo sensor, and supported standard definition, 512x384, video capture. It ran on two AAA batteries, had 16 megabytes of internal memory, and could function with a 2 gigabytes SD card. It was the first GoPro Hero camera to use a 170 deg angle of view, ultra wide lens. Its housing was aggressively, and extraordinarily, rated to 100 feet per 30 meters depth. Its dimensions were 2.6 x 1.75 x 1.25 inches, 66.04 x 44.45 x 31.75 millimeters. The camera is not designed to work with the newer HD Hero line of housings, although the standard screw mounts are indeed compatible. Digital Hero 3 the Digital Hero 3 released in 2007 had a 3 megapixel camera and shot standard definition 512x384 video. It was rated up to 30 meters, 98.4 feet, in depth. GoPro Hero 35mm, all-season sports camera The 35mm camera, model number 001, became available on April 13, 2005. It had dimensions of 2.5 by 3 inches, 64 by 76 millimeters, and weighed 0.45 pounds, 200 g. It included the camera, a clear case with quick release, a camera strap, and ski glove adapter lash. It could pivot on the fly, and was functional to a depth in water of about 15 feet, 5 m. It was described as a reusable wrist camera and included a roll of 24 exposure Kodak 400 film. Competitors
Sony. In August 2012, Sony launched the Sony Action Cam HDR AS10 and HDA AS15 cameras, which relatively compete with GoPro's HD Hero 2 model. Sony's cameras have 16.8 MP in the HDA AS15 has built in ReFI. Garmin. A year after Sony's product launch, GPS device maker Garmin launched its VIRB line of GPS-equipped 1080p waterproof cameras to compete with GoPro. In September 2013, Sony launched the HDR AS30V which is smaller and lighter camera than the previous Sony AS15. It's compatible with Sony's smartwatch and has GPS and NFC. Others. Other popular action cams include JVC GCX ADU, Drift HD Ghost S, Polaroid XS7, and Contour Plus 2, Liquid Image Ego, the Neo Sport Camera and the Vero Muvi action cameras.